I remember every Easter uh, waking up at 4.30 and 5 o'clock in the morning and I used to dread it as a kid uh, growing up and uh, we would have to go to the 6 a.m. Easter service, uh, sunrise service at War Memorial Stadium and I used to dread waking up in the morning. It was so early and you're a little kid, you just want to sleep. But once we got there, it was really amazing. It was really exciting. I remember uh, you getting there and there's hundreds of people there uh, and from all different churches all around the island. And it didn't matter what denomination they were from. It didn't matter what church you were from. You were coming together as the body of Christ to celebrate Jesus' resurrection. And that always stuck out to me as a kid. It, it was something that left a huge impression on me. And coming back here to Maui to plant a church, uh, I, you know, coming on Easter time and the Easter season, I find it very important that we come together as a body of Christ and that we, that we come and celebrate Jesus' resurrection. I always think back when I think about unity to John chapter 17 when Jesus says, I want us to be one as the body of Christ just as He's one in the Father. And you know, when I think about that, John chapter 17, He's in the Garden of Gethsemane. He knows he's about to be arrested. He knows he's about to die. And when you come to that moment, when you know that you're coming near the end, you tend to think about only the most important things. And the most important thing to him in that moment, when he's about to sacrifice himself for us, is I want them to know how much unity and reconciliation is to me, that I'm willing to die for it. And so that means so much. I think on this day, the best thing that we can do is to come together as the body of Christ, regardless of generation, regardless of de denomination or background or religious uh, affiliation, uh, just as believers in Jesus Christ, just as people who have been reconciled to the Father through His sacrifice, to come together. And it doesn't matter that it's 6 o'clock in the morning. I, I just, I think that unity just can't be a buzzword. It can't just be a popular thing to preach and a popular thing to say. We've really got to walk it out. And that means that we got to be a little bit uncomfortable. That means we have to reach across the aisle a little bit. That means maybe we don't have competing sun sunrise services on Easter. Maybe we make the effort to come together. That's where unity is won or lost. It's not won or lost on pulpits. It's not created by Facebook messages or event pages. Unity happens when we give up of ourselves and really start to walk out the idea that it's not about my church, your church, but it's about the church. I think that's what this service means. This Easter service has been here on this island forever. It predates me. It predates us. And I want to see it become everything that it can be, just this one time a year. So that's what this Easter sunrise service means to me. And I hope to see you there.